Hey guys, this is Tyler Zombro with Tread Athletics, and today I wanted to take a look at left-handed change-up slash splitters. So piggybacking off of change-up slash splitter, I think there's an important thing to note here when looking at the graphs of inflection points for left-handed change-up slash splitters. And the thing that jumps out immediately to me is the horizontal break importance. So Really, there are two ways that you can generate a lot of whiffs with your changeup slash splitter. That's either being close to the zero line, so eluding as if it has a ton of cut, or getting out past 15 horizontal, alluding to a lot of arm side run. So I think that's an important distinction to begin with, and we see this curve uh, is pretty drastic here with whiff rates on that is because if you're a guy who might be struggling in terms of killing the vert on the pitch, if you can just start to push horizontal and induce more arm side, or if you're a guy throwing a splitter who cannot induce a ton of depth with that, if you're cutting it, equally is beneficial. So it provides you a lot of avenues there with how to utilize this pitch. Similar to righties, we see left on left, there is a lot of promise with throwing this pitch. Actually not quite as much as right-handed change-ups, but overall you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck throwing it left on left. In terms of velocity, it actually appears that velocity is really important for throwing left on right change-ups. When we look at this, I guess if it's a slower pitch, lollipop profile, right-handed hitters are able to distinguish that. So keeping velocity high is gonna be important there in terms of keeping Woba low. So we see Woba really skyrocket on slow change-ups to the opposite hand hitter, something that you likely want to avoid. So a couple of examples of big league change-ups that we pulled up here. John Means, his Woba against right-handed hitters was 296 and to lefties it was 270 so pretty symmetrical here across the board it's interesting to note with means because he doesn't kill a ton of vert on his changeup, but it's still a successful pitch for him so again looking at that horizontal number that's a big swing point here for left-handed changeup. so even if you're not killing a ton of that vert if you're able to manipulate it horizontally you can have a lot of benefit with that so we're looking at woba specifically if you are not killing vert, but you're inducing a lot of pop-ups, weak contact, that's equally as beneficial at times, just as whiffs are. Another example of change-up usage is Shamanaya against right-handed batters. His Woba against was 280, and against lefties, it was 104. So you can see a huge jump there for him throwing it left on left, really advantageous position for him. I know personally, looking at a lot of our pro guys, we see that they really underutilize this pitch left on left or right on right. So something for you to take a look at is if you are not throwing the pitch a ton hand on hand, obviously you want it to be an outlier occurrence where guys are not sitting on this individual pitch, but it appears if you're in that five to 10% usage-ish range, it can be really beneficial for you to work that in more so in your arsenal. So that's an overview of left-handed change-ups slash splitters. Again, horizontal break being a big distinction here with the splitter profile. Is it cutting? Are you getting more arm side? But really kind of getting out of that area between five to 15-ish horizontal, that's kind of the dead zone for what a left-handed change-up is. So making sure you're manipulating one way or the other to make that change-up an outlier for you. So that's what we have for left-handed change-ups. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.